Hi everyone, this video is about using the MySQL Workbench to connect to the MySQL database server. So I'm going to assume that your MySQL database server is already running. So uh, because uh, if you use my installation method, then it will be running as an automatically started Windows service. Right, so if you go to my SQL, right, so you should see that it's running. All right, so at this point of time, I'm going to uh, run my MySQL workbench. Okay, so at the onset, you should not have any connection. So let me just delete away the connection, right. And now we want to do a connection. So basically, what is what is this trying to do is that uh, if I were to uh, show you the diagram again, Okay, so now your database server is already running okay, in your computer and then and then what happened now is we have launched our MySQL workbench so now we are going to make a connection alright so this piece of program is going to make a connection to the database server program alright so this is what we are going to do so click on plus okay this can be any name so let's call it uh, cdf all right so the host name okay is localhost 127.0.0.1 okay why is it 127.0.0.1 because remember we only have one machine right so this is installed in your machine this is also installed in your machine right so Therefore, that is the reason, okay, localhost. So port number 3306, so that is the port number that this database server program is running on. Okay, if you remember the installation, we accepted the default value which is port 3306. Okay, so, uh, and we are also using the root user. So click on OK, all right then double click on the connection and then you have to key in a password so our password is cdev okay you may want to save it for convenient purposes so click ok and you should uh, if everything is successful you should be brought to this screen all right so let me just close everything okay right so now we want to uh, practice creating one database so currently we saw that there's one database here called system right so what it means is that now your database server program is running and it does have a database okay and a database is called system so now we want to create another database okay and we are, we are going to call it my underscore database so let's go to this one so you can uh, mouse hover you can see create a new schema in the connected server right so the terminology here schema can also be referred to as database so click on it okay and then call it my underscore database all right and then okay uh, in the lab sheet right so you are asked to change to something like that okay and over here it will be right okay something like that okay and you have to click apply okay apply means you want to execute this particular action so click apply okay and 
very nicely, my SQL Workbench will show you the SQL statement, right? So this is the SQL statement, alright? And then you click apply. So you wait a while, right? And basically, you will have your database created here. So a database is going to contain tables. So currently, we do not have any tables. Alright, and now uh, we will need to write. Okay, so basically, uh, I've shown you how to create the database and you can uh, continue with the lab sheet okay, to complete the rest of the instruction. So thank you for tuning in.